The number of Romanian and Bulgarian people working in the UK increased by 22,000 in the last year. That's a rise of 15%. Let's get some analysis of these figures now. With me is our Home Affairs correspondent, Danny Shaw. Danny, hello to you. And, of course, uh, market controls on Romanian and Bulgarian nationals were lifted in, in January last year. So uh, perhaps no surprise that we're seeing a rise here in the numbers of them employed. Yes, I think people perhaps expected uh, a bigger increase, although, of course, these figures don't include um, husbands or wives that, uh, that, that have been brought in or children and so on, people who aren't working. So an increase of uh, just uh, under 15 per cent, um, up to 172,000. Um, what the figures are also showing is that overall the number of people from the EU working in the UK has gone up by 10.5 per cent. And that has driven, been driven not only by the influx of people from Romania and Bulgaria, but also from the other former Soviet bloc states that joined the EU in 2004, countries which include Poland. We thought perhaps a couple of years ago that people were heading back to those countries. Well, in fact, they're still coming in great numbers, up 24.1% uh, year on year. These figures from the final quarter of last year compared to 2013, same period, 908,000 workers from Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic and those other countries. Of course, we got the latest unemployment figures today. How do these statistics fit into that overall picture of employment versus unemployment here? Well, I think what these figures show is that Britain is still a magnet for people who want to come and work from other European Union countries. And what's particularly interesting is that there was a period when people from countries which had suffered from the Eurozone crisis, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece, uh, there was a, a big increase in people from those countries coming to the UK. Well, that's actually not happening now. Uh, the numbers have fallen back a bit and are at similar levels to what they were a couple of years ago. That perhaps may tell you more about the strength of the economy in those other countries compared to Britain. What's particularly significant about these data is that these are the last set of figures before the election when the EU immigration and the economy are all going to be issues right at the top of the agenda. So um, they will be picked over We're and We're going analyzed. to be hearing a lot more about them, aren't we? Yes, Danny, thank you very much. Danny Shaw.